Hello and welcome to ARCA at USA International Speedway. We are back. I've done this combo before. A couple times, actually. And uh, in fact, I've done it once this week already. It was a late night race in which there were not too many people signed up and it was late at night and my fiance was sleeping so I didn't want to record so I kind of just did it as sort of a practice see how it goes type race and uh, it was actually pretty nice hopefully, hopefully it goes that way again here I don't feel quite as fast seems like other people have got this figured out a little bit better than I do unfortunately One more. Uh, Hey, that was pretty good though. That was about near my all-time best. That's Paul. That lap time was uh, 21.6. Ooh, I got fourth in that other race I did. And it was a clean 0x race, which was great. Love that. And that's gonna be slower. So that was a 21.59.7 to a 21.6. Excuse me. So I don't expect that to be pull, and it is not. Hey, that was pretty good, though. We're still ahead of quite a few people. But like I said, uh, I was about a tenth off the fastest guys in the open, open practice. And I am the number one, unfortunately. So we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have high expectations from iRacing in this one. But short tracks... Still a work in progress for me. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully everyone gets finished up real quick here. We'll get going. Anyone have ratio offset device new to the class? Um. I'll say something. It's all personal. Alright. What is it? Negative fifteen. <laughs> Quite a bit. Maybe help someone out there. If they're new to the class. I don't know if that's helpful advice or not, but it's fixed setup. What do you mean? I mean, not everything's fixed. Yeah, that's what I do here. I got 10 to 1 steering ratio. A um, little more responsive for the short track. Help you catch the slides. Personal preference for me steering offset negative 15 to get rid of the uh, natural pull. And then brake bias. I didn't ask about brake bias, but if they do, I've got mine at 62. Normally short tracks, I'll put it all the way back, but uh, actually been kind of hard getting this thing uh, under control under braking. Uh, so I got 62. We'll see if we need to pull that back at all. Awesome, thanks. Okay, hopefully that helped them. Oh, I don't know. Where are we right now? We are P2 still. Who are we waiting on? Quite a few people, so I think we're gonna have to wait the full next. Oh, well, it's only 30 seconds, so. I just hope that we don't get crashed out. Probably gonna be real patient with people if they're gonna be doing dive bombs and stuff. Um, I probably want top five. But it seems like a lot to ask for. Just say, yes, I need a top five. That's the number one. You kind of get 
fourth there. I could finish fourth and still lose eye rating. That's happened to me recently. And that's always kind of a bummer because you're like, heck yeah, fourth place. And then you lose like four, ten eye rating. And you're like, why? I thought I did good. I thought I did a good. And then I didn't, I guess. No, that should really matter anyway. If I'm happy with the finish, then that's all I need. Especially if it's going to be a 0x on a short track in an ARCA series with no cautions. Lots of factors that are going against you getting that 0x, so. 50 laps here. It goes by pretty quick, though. At least it feels that way to me. I don't know. It does go on quite a little bit. It's kind of like you get to lap... Uh, 22 or something you're like oh man i'm not even halfway and then all of a sudden it's lap 48 and you're like oh that's probably just me hopefully you won't have to dodge too much crazy craziness i had a uh, one big moment in the first race i did the non-recorded one where someone spun up in front of in front of me and i uh, had to make evasive maneuvers Thankfully made it around. I finished that one with 0x in my, uh, to get my fourth place. So hopefully we'll have some uh, left here again. If I, can do, if I can do that fourth place again, I'll be very happy. Usually I'll do one, one short track race in Arca whenever it uh, comes to town, whenever the combo has us uh, on a short track. I'll do one race and as soon as I get a clean race, I'm like, I'm out of right. here. <laughs> Not doing this anymore. But uh, since I didn't record the other one, I wanted to have uh, a recording on the channel, because ARC is kind of my main thing. It's my favorite series. Seems to be uh, what a lot of people watch. So, don't want to miss a week. Get it all recorded. I hate the fact that I'm on the outside, by the way. Not only outside, but also outside on the front row. Oh, nice Fazoli's car. I like that. Print sticks for days. So I'm gonna have to awkwardly look to the side. Make a second gear start. Don't think I'm gonna get tire spin, looks like. I think we're fine. It's kind of awkwardly in between first and second gear, but if I'm ever in between like this, I usually just go second gear. Even if I get swamped at the beginning, at least I'm not spinning my tires and crashing the field. Hopefully. <laughs> One green. Hopefully we'll get a good view. See if we can get an eye on him. Nice safety car should be ready. Go! Can't pass him into the first corner, so. Car inside. Or you can't pass it before the start finish line. Still inside. Still there. Still inside. Mm. Sorry guys, man, I could get stopped. Still inside. Clear. Yeah, brake pedals work. All right, so we finally uh, got to the bottom. I say finally, it hasn't only been one. What are you doing, nine? We'll just take it easy for now. Nothing too crazy. Don't do what he's doing. I hope he's not overcorrecting into me right now. Go high. P3. Still inside. Twenty-one point nine. The car ahead is just I've been tapped. That's scary. Close that door. That's a scary door. I don't like that door. Who knows Taco Bell? That's a good food in this race, apparently. 
including Cheddar's. Just me. Which I just realized, I don't think it loaded. Steam. Oh no. That doesn't look right on the hood. How could you do this to me, trading paints? You guys are flickering bad in front of me. Got people with bad connections. Probably the guy that just disappeared. The fastest lap for Baker, 21.7. The guy behind has just done a 21.8. Trying not to get on it too hard and burn up the rears. Keep some life in them, some grip in them for the longer run, but. Fastest lap for Pine, 21.7. I don't think you don't get as much tie either. Last time I raced here, I was about 4% more worn on the right front, so maybe I do want to ramp it up a little more. I don't know. I just don't have the uh, fast speed as some of these guys up front. I feel like they're going to crawl away from me. Slowly but surely. just don't have that get up and go here. We broke that a little bit. Oops. Seems like if you end up a groove up, it's when it really starts snapping on you. You start trying to accelerate with more wheel put into it because you kind of overgrow it a little bit that's kind of where it can snap it seems like so the just be aware of that ahead is now oh we got space behind us i think the guy might have slipped a banana peel or something the monkeys are running loose on the track leaving banana peels I guess better watch out for that. Weird that they happen to leave them on corner exit all the time. You get the occasional one on corner entry. What am I talking about? Sorry, I turn my brain off when I start racing. <laughs> Say some weird, some weird stuff. So, leader seems to be kind of walking away. We're kind of keeping even with this next guy though, maybe. I don't know, I think he's pulling away a little bit too. Kinda of got our own little spot here, brewing in third. That's A-OK -okay with me. Nice to not have to worry about someone dive bombing you. Looks like I should probably be staying a little lower on exit. Looks like I'm losing time at that part of the track. Maybe down a little bit lower. Yeah, look at that. Look at that green. Delta Bar, as usual, being very helpful to me. Learning things. Oops. And then forgetting them immediately, I guess, because that wasn't good. Hmm. Be more smooth and consistent than that. And this. So that time was a bad corner as well. The gap behind is now 0.7. Hmm. I personally like running a little bit higher up the track so that way I can get a better run off. It's hard to get the car exactly where I want it to be. But uh, I don't think, at least for me, I don't think the very bottom here is quite exactly where you want to be. It's where, not where I seem to get speed. I seem to run a little bit better, just a little bit higher up. And then I can get a better run off, off the corner. It seems to help me out. Now here's the thing, even if these guys ahead pull away from us a bit, we're going to hit lap traffic. That's inevitable. Things could still get interesting, so I gotta keep up the best I can. Not give up. Because it just takes uh, two separate incidents 
two separate drivers. Rest to be in a very nice spot. Of course, we could be the one in an incident too. You know, always put yourself in a position that uh, you can succeed. I am going to lose a spot though here soon, I think. This guy behind me is catching up. So, I don't know what I'm talking about gaining spots. I am ready to lose spots. You've just done a 22.3. That time I kind of took a shallower entry. Well, and I was gonna say it worked, but then I kind of lost everything I gained on the exit, so it's kind of just the same. That got a little scary low. I don't think I want to go any lower than that. Got people leaving. I'm assuming there's some wrecks happening behind us. So far, so good, though. No scary moments with lap cars yet. Overdrove it. Try to get a good runoff, at least. Well, I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to keep this third place for the full race. Consistency's only going to take me so far if I don't have all that much speed. I don't have all that much consistency either. <laughs> enough to not hit the wall, but not enough to have decent laps. I mean, decent, maybe. But good laps. I am in short supply of. Hopefully they'll start fighting or something back there. Because they are pretty close to each other. Maybe that'll be what helps us uh, keep third. Ooh, that was a frame stutter. Didn't like that. No, sir. I don't like that. You know what? I think I want to dial the brakes back a little bit. I'll be crazy. That's what I want to do. Get a little bit of uh, mid-corner speed back. I usually just put my brake bias all the way back to the start of the race, but like I said, I wasn't feeling it here. I was getting too loose on entry. Alright, let's see if that helps. Did I say too loose on entry? That's not true at all. <laughs> I was saying uh, getting a little bit tight. That's what I was trying to say, a little tight in center. Half distance. And, uh, You're looking good at least this injury actually kind of went away from the start, so I felt comfortable doing it. And adding that brake bias to the back, or whatever, removing it from the front, whatever you want to say. I believe that has helped. Maybe it's placebo. That last lap was faster than the previous one before. Gap to Berger ahead is now. Seconds. Having them break bias in the back a little bit more, helping get the car rotated. That was a bad corner. Three seconds to the leader, two seconds to second place. I think there was some trouble behind, maybe. I think there was a different person behind us a moment ago. And uh, they were closer than that. So, that's interesting. Low gar up high. Oh, why would you do that? Now it's starting to get scary. Six. Some lap cars coming up. They were just wrecking a moment ago. Watch out. The gap to Berger ahead is now. Yeah, it's pitting. 
prefer that over having to get past him, so that's nice. Not so nice he's had problems this race, though. Unless he caused it, then ha! You got what you deserved. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. Thank you, 16. I'm really focused on my Apex. And uh, kind of just putting the uh, other the lap cars ahead of me in my peripheral in case uh, something no goes wrong. The actor Berger in front is now 2.1. How did I go two and a half tenths faster that lap? Did the last lap that bad, or did I gain speed that lap? way to get past them, but we did it. Drill that a little bit. It's not going to be much faster than uh, getting held up last lap, though. So four seconds to the leader. Leader's got it figured out. Still two seconds to the guy ahead. I don't think I'm much faster than I are. If at all, I think they're probably still a bit faster. And uh, the race is kind of flying by. I don't have all that many to go at this point. See, there again, I gained like another almost Two tenths for turn one. What am I doing differently? Am I on the brakes longer? Am I just very more speed? I don't know what I did different. Is there a good short track racer hidden in me somewhere? I doubt it. <laughs> if I could uh, those faster laps every time, I sure would help. How about my situation? Though I'm complaining and went third. Which is not bad at all. Be very happy with that. And to be fair, I wasn't really complaining, just observing and always trying to think about how I can improve every lap. That's why I really like session last lap. It really helps out to see what works and what doesn't. It's storing that in the files of my brain, trying to replicate the ones that give me a treat, like one of those experiments on animals, like they press the button and they get a treat. That's what my brain's doing. You hit the corner right, you get a treat. Good job. We're all just animals, anyway, in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Let me just get philosophical here with ARCA at USA International. Brain going on autopilot again. As it do. So, leader's still getting away, it looks like. Still basically just holding even. I got second. I think I'm getting sloppy, though. Thank you, 14. Light lap cars, good to see. This has been cr this has been great. I don't think I've seen any major races. Oh, it's just the guy coming out of this. I was about to say, did I just jinx it again for real? But no, I haven't seen any major wrecks. No pile ups to dodge. No lap cars sliding in front of me. Every race I've done so far, all two of them. 
have been very clean, actually. I am proud of the iRacing community in this one. Free track. Lots of participation. Relatively, I guess. And uh, everyone's doing pretty well, it seems like. Oh, there's a car. Yeah, it's field grass. I think I'll miss it. Is that guy just driving through the pits every lap? I swear, I just, I just said deja vu. I just watched that guy come out of pits, I thought. I got kind of close to the apron there. That was probably playing with fire. You got five laps to go. I left to go. I don't think I'm catching anyone. Thankfully, I don't think anyone's catching me either. So if I get my bronze medal, I will be perfectly happy. I go casually getting three tenths faster in one lap for no reason. Again, I don't know. I don't know what I did differently. I guess this lap's gonna be even faster, maybe? <laughs> no idea. Yeah, cool, okay. Like two laps to go and I'm finding speed, I guess. The gap to Berger ahead is now 2.5. Our lap time was 22.8. I'm gonna need this lap car to be patient, though. He's not battling anyone Dick, nearby. Dick brain. I hope he will not try to pass me. Assuming uh, he's been Two more fixing damage go. or something and has better tires. Or he's secretly the guy that should be winning but got wrecked or something. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. That lap was a 22 I'm for a podium here. Go and then get the podium. Yes, crew chief, sir, I'll get that boat in. White flag, stay smooth. Slap car doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, crazy, speaking of crazy. Okay, Colton, outside. Looking, looking at, keep it looking at, at where am I looking at? Just one survive, please. Just gotta do one more lap here. Congrats on the win, Can William. Down to 2.6 seconds. Yeah, good win. That was a great race, guys. Well done. Decent drive. It really was. Very Here's clean. It's over. Thank you. Good race, guys. Great job. You did really well. So, uh, positions one, two, three were two, three, one car numbers. And uh, the two definitely earned it. They were very fast. 35 miles per hour. And I'm very happy with how that went. Top three. All right. Particularly close. Now, if I could figure out how I was getting those every once in a while good laps and figure out how to do those more consistently, maybe I'd be in contention. But not going to complain about standing on the podium. So. Let's see. What other people have going on? a little bit though. Twenty oh oh god. Twenty going in for the kill. Driving on the apron like it's a modified. He just got loose though. He, he don't think I don't think he did it on purpose. He got loose on entry I think. Getting the brakes. Getting loose. Maybe the brake bias was too far back. And, uh, that's what happened. I think 7 got the worst of it. Oh, 17! Why you gotta do that to him? <laughs> 14 kind of dodges it, 17 turns on the hit, and then we're fine here. Like, if the 17 just lifts off and lets him gather it up, okay, but then he's like, Nope! Put hit throttle. And then he just dumps him. <laughs> it wasn't his fault that it happened initially, but I feel like he could have saved the 14 there. And then the 14's tires are hot. And so when he tries to throttle it up, he loses control. Got yeah, a mistake. <laughs> oh my god, I believe they call that karma. So the 17 doesn't lift for the guy getting loose. And guess who else doesn't get 
doesn't live for a guy getting loose. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, kablowy. Oh, they felt really bad about it, though, I think. In fact, they decided to enter themselves into the wreck more. Oh, they felt really bad about it. That's the person I was asking questions to. I mean, they probably could have dodged it. Maybe they didn't not notice they were getting loose until too late and the reaction time was just too slow. But, I mean, really, you can't really blame the 15 on that. It's the 17. It's on the 17 for getting loose in the first place. They quit. Okay, numb. Seven in the wall. Twelve in the... Everywhere. <laughs> Inside wall. I tried to gather it up. Couldn't quite do it. Eighteen. Too hard on the gas on exit. Doesn't hurt it too bad, though. This is a guy chasing us. And the sixteen... Or the six just takes him out. Number six chose to have Taco Bell takeout today. I'll have the crunch wrap to go. Crunch. And that's a wrap. <laughs> I'm sorry. My commentary is so stupid. It's cheesy. I like the cheesy gordita crunch. Oh my god. And then exactly what happened with the other guy before. Where uh, the tires are hot. And so when he's trying to get going... He's probably seeing the people coming. He's like, oh, I gotta go fast. I gotta go. I gotta go before they get here. And then he smashes the throttle and then... Oops. That's stuff you kind of just learn with experience. Like, what you can and can't do. Are these people wrecking each other on purpose? Seventeen's going in there. Well, it kind of just looks like the 14's taking it slow. Seventeen just runs into him on exit. And then the 14's like... Now we ain't having that. Maybe I don't know if they had something else going on before, but that seems like an overreaction to take them out over that. Especially in front of the leaders, that's kind of dirty. That's kind of it's kind of bad. Don't like that. Take your squabbles somewhere else, please. Love it too hot on entry. We'll get loosened into the wall. Knocked your wheels out of alignment. That's probably what he's hearing. 17 has been having lots of problems, but I don't see what happened there. Other than drifting to the corner. 7's trying to hit the 9 on pit road, but there's a wall on the way. Now he's getting loose. 6 ran over a guy before. He's ready to take out the 16 here, too. No one lifts! No one ever lifts if a person's getting loose or something. You can see him getting loose there. I don't know, maybe he does. Maybe he tries to not get him, but... He was not able to avoid it. Oops. To be fair, you don't really expect a person to get loose on a straightaway, but he was still kind of halfway gathering it up from exit. And that's, uh, not so good. Sixteen gets a bad. That's, uh, that's too bad. They were doing pretty well at one point, weren't they? I think I remember seeing them up there. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just remembering seeing them from the, uh, earlier incidents. So they're broken, trying to get around the track. This is uh, after the race is over, so that's it, huh? Still very clean for uh, what you might come to expect from Arca Short Track. That's pretty darn good. And uh, I'm very good with my finish. We're on the short step of the podium. And uh, looking up at the other two guys, but... We're there. We're there on the podium, and that's that's good stuff. And uh, just for the curious, 89.92 were my tires. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know point of reference what it should be. But uh, happy with that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. That'll be it for this one. ARCA USA. Pretty clean overall. 
and uh, pretty fun. So we'll see uh, what this week brings us to next, and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.